Well, hello, good people. It's your favorite son of Orbis, Mr. Passion here, and welcome back to another episode of Hightail in Minecraft. I was almost saying Techtopia, which is my other <laughs> series. But, well, I'm happy to see you guys here. You guys smashed the hell out of the like the last episode, and a lot of people watched that episode. And uh, I got more subscribers, which is a good thing. But I'm back again to teach you about my homeworld Orbis through building. And today we're going to be building a dungeon. Now, you see, in my homeworld in Orbis, there are a lot of uh, dungeons uh, of different kinds. Yeah, but today in particular, we're going to be building uh, one from the Emerald Grove, which is the zone in which I used to live. And it's going to be a tower dungeon. It's one of the most fascinating dungeons uh, there is because of its just size and, you know. Yeah, so let's do that. Behind me is the staff of the Monkey King. Yes, that, that you see right there is the Monkey King's staff. Uh, anyways, that is just a uh, good of high school reference. But behind me is the, is the height... Uh, limit uh, the high estimation of the next build I'm going to be doing from the world of Orbis. Orp but before we get into the time lapse, let me explain a little bit about what uh, this is. So, if you look at uh, our inspiration image, uh, you'd realize that um, it has different levels. So, this is me just trying to mark out starting from the ground floor or the uh, last level how many blocks up I'm going to go. Uh, to create a shift to the next level. So uh, it's an allowance of about five blocks. You count from the basalt, uh, not the uh, the uh, trap doors. That is just, I just I just looked at it and I just had kept adding stuff to it <laughs> because I like how it looked. Yeah, but uh, from the basalt, uh, which is basically the floor, uh, we move up a couple of blocks. Uh, that is about uh, approximately five, five blocks each level till we get to the top now this particular pillar is to represent the height of the tallest tower that you see right all the way right there in the back in screenshot uh, and that the tip is where the roof is actually at the top of the last block is where the roof is going to be and that is why uh, <laughs> I use this because it's the tallest among us all of them to just give me uh, uh, an estimate on how uh, how big it's going to be and if you're wondering why I called it the Monkey King stuff. That's because I just been been binge watching God of High School again, the anime, and man, that, that last episode, man. Okay, no no spoilers for anyone who hasn't. You guys should take check it out, definitely. So I started with making a an outline for the builds. I started with the back tower, then the middle tower, the central tower, the smaller tower. And I came in the front, I added the back balcony section, and then I came up and built the tower first. Um, this is my first time using re replay mode, so it's really exciting seeing uh, myself do this. Like, this is just, it's just so cool. Yes, I moved to the second tower, then the third tower, filling them in first with the sandstone, and then uh, making sure I add uh, the cobblestone and smooth stone, or normal stone uh, at the tops. To, diff to differentiate the different levels. I'm later going to come in and uh, add depth to it, do not worry. <coughs> the balcony part was a bit different because it did not have a uh, uh, stone at the top and it seemed to stop quite below. Uh, then I came in, created the depth by adding uh, an extra block all around uh, the top layer of, the, of each level or the bottom layer of each level. Uh, because that's how it looks in, in the screenshot. It looks like there's a bit of depth there. I did that all the way to the top. Uh, I used stone brick in here, but I later, in, later on come and uh, mix it up with a cracked stone brick and all that. And then I moved on to uh, the tops of uh, uh, the, the towers, the different towers, the, the roofs. A lot of them, I used the spruce because it looked like I used actually stripped dark oak, no, not spruce, stripped dark oak with a mixture of spruce uh, slabs uh, to just round out uh, the tops a little bit more. Uh, came in, put the entrances. Uh, here, just make, mixing stairs and slabs to make uh, the curved entrance like you see in the screenshot. 
uh, then I added in uh, basically the details that I was able to at least see from here. It seemed to have a couple, couple of pillars and windows uh, from uh, from where I see it from at least there were a couple of pillars and windows uh, but let's just talk about uh, the lore of uh, these buildings I, I honestly think that these buildings are uh, the remains of uh, an ancient time uh, an ancient civilization uh, that lived in the world of Obis uh, probably the humans because the, the skeletons are probably uh, undead uh, and the skeletons are a sign that there are humans occupants here before that lived in these places and in these towers and I think those were the humans that uh, later on uh, maybe died or something or they were ex extinct maybe because of burn. Uh, so that is why we have uh, such structures that are quite big and not, probably not built by Quebec but most likely the humans and that's why we have a lot of skeletons so you're probably the last of your race in when it comes to uh, to Hytale Oh, you see me coming in and then adding uh, the stones and because this place is overgrown and it's a dungeon there's a lot of uh, soil and dirt that has piled up on the sides over time and even in the rocks or maybe the, the dungeon was just built on the on in the rocks that is why it looks like that my, my theory is that this is just cause it's crumbling slowly and slowly Ah, okay, so this, uh, this is some of the times I wish I was back at Obes because the block palette is usually wider when it comes to building blocks, at least I suppose. But anyway, I digress. You guys are here to see what we have done with this magnificent dun dun tower dungeon. So after the time lapse you saw right there, I went ahead and did the interior according to what I would think it would look like. Because we haven't yet really seen the entirety of the interior and I don't think it is one particular style because the dungeons are randomly generated structures so in prefab style they never are the same. However, we have one in front of us right here and uh, let me do the reveal. One, two, three, voila! Look at that beauty, guys. I, to be honest, I'm blown away <laughs> by... Uh, like how it just turned out it just is so freaking cool uh, to me so uh, while I was talking about the block palette earlier was because um, if you see the screenshot right here uh, the block the main block used is closer to an oak color but if I was to use oak oak wood it didn't have the textures and then I would get those weird grid like patterns uh, in the build which yeah so I think it's a kind of sandstone or I don't know what type of stone that is. We shall find out when Hytale comes out. I think we should check out the exterior now. I'm just going to do a walk by before we go into the inside and see what I did. So the entrance is right there. I just like it's positioned in the uh, what, uh, in the screenshot as you can see here. And then uh, this other side is the one I had to uh, use my creativity on. I pretty much made it like what you'd expect to find. It's a pretty tall tower, by the way. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's ruined in places. Has it's overgrown. Trees are growing in different parts of the thing. Yeah, but I actually do really like it. Uh, a lot of the pillars and windows are out, and it's broken up in places. Yeah, so um, uh, that is the walk around on the outside. Now let's uh, check out the inside. Coming in here. I guess you have to know what to prepare for for any person that is going to any adventure that is going to be coming into these tower dungeons. Of course, the main uh, the main villain in this is going to be the skeletons, as we have seen in the screenshots. Uh, uh, these are a couple of them, as you see here. Uh, but specifically, uh, the ones that are in zone one are probably the ones that are going to uh, they're going to be more ordinary. Yeah, I would say uh, just ordinary skeletons with maybe different weapons and then occasionally you'll find like a mage using like uh, the earth crystal stuff or something and actually now I uh, come to think of it I have each I have a section for each of the types of uh, skeletons you'll find so coming in here it is <laughs> yeah dark and you know gloomy because it is a uh, 
you know so you find uh what uh the first floor <laughs> with uh, different things in it uh, i did not expect to find anything in here i think this, the good stuff starts uh, appearing a little bit up above but of course i expect like to have two skeletons on guard here oops two skeletons on guard uh, maybe maybe one and probably the ones that are using ranged weapons uh, maybe like a spear or like a bow and arrow and uh, on this this is now the, the the middle tower the big tower is uh, maybe the one of the main ways up. Uh, nothing much here, just a uh, broken up ground. I used Podzo down here along with uh, the, the spruce wood. Uh, I put hidden lighting under there because it was going to be too dark, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And then, okay, this water, this is water, but it's supposed to signify, you know, a lot of the time in these ruined things, the water has entered in and places, you know, it's kind of swampy and damp in here, so that's why you see the lily pads and all that. So coming up here, on the next floor, we would find, well, a broken up uh, floor <laughs> that, yeah, you just have to be careful climbing up. It'll be interesting to fight these things on uh, a floor like this if there's going to be any in the dungeons. Yeah, but uh, this is, uh, I had mentioned this is the bigger tower, the, mid, the main, the, not the main tower, but the bigger tower, the one that is in the middle. Uh, uh, and uh, it leads you to this uh, for this long tall tower which i think will just have to be a staircase leading all the way up to the top but we shall go there later and then uh, on this other side it leads to this other smaller tower which doesn't have much in it but it is the entrance to the balcony area that you see in the screenshot in the background so i used another screenshot to reference how this place would look that's why i, I made it look uh, like this yeah, there's a pole sticking out coming in from there, like a you know broken building. This is meant to be a broken beam support, you know. And yeah, so in here you'll find some few barrels. I don't know what to expect to find here though, <laughs> but of course there'll be a couple of barrels here and uh, dead and some bushes. And down below it takes us back to the entrance, and uh, this is the entrance to that other. Uh, oh tower that goes up there. I forget that I can just one shot things because I have the power of the elements. Don't forget. Yo, so um, let's just let's just go back up here and uh, back to the second floor. Then uh, this is another staircase leading us up to the next floor. Uh, nothing much. I imagine now up as you go up you start finding better loot now like maybe there's uh, more chests here with different things armor daggers etc yeah now here it's broken because there's no way to lead you to the staircase so they just left it open because i imagine i wanted to make it seem like maybe something fell off that was here in the middle and uh well there's no other way to go up except you having to use the staircase so coming the staircase uh, the one I told you earlier that comes all the way from down below. Uh, uh, you, It's a central staircase, broken up of course as you can see. And you might have to do parkour occasionally in some places <laughs> to get to where you're going. And that's, this leads you to the other, to one of the, I mean to the, one of the other places. Right, okay there. The towers seem to have a lot of floors, so yeah and though right here you're finding better chests now not just barrels but chests that, that may have cool stuff in them uh, and you're getting closer to the top so i imagine the closer you get to the top the better the loot like i said earlier continuing on the staircase leading us up here we are almost at the top of this one uh, and uh, at the same time we are oh oops i almost fell through we are here and there's this double chest so I imagine now this is where the good loot is because uh, this is the f uh, the top floor of the biggest uh, central tower and then this smaller tower is where I expect all the good loot to be <laughs> so maybe up here this being a tower I imagine it will be most likely protected by a mage uh, probably one that is using an elemental crystal in the stuff because it's a tower and you know mages and wizards and stuff they like uh, towers i uh, use the ender chest here to symbolize the uh, high tier uh, chests maybe and that you in them you'll be able to find maybe thorium maybe iron you know maybe crystals i really hope maybe some of the earth crystals can be found or like earth crystal shards can be found in 
uh, different uh, uh, dungeon towers like this and maybe you could combine like four of them to make a, a, an earth crystal. I also think there will be places where there are secret chests like you see these barrels we did not see them earlier as we we're coming in through but also down right here you see this, uh, this place is waterlogged now. Why I lock waterlogged this place is because you see uh, here is uh, open a lot of this side of the tower is open and maybe a lot of rain comes in and ended up creating a small pond down there but the other reason why there's a pond there is coming in through here you find a, a, this in, this is a chest here a couple of barrels with some loot maybe and then you will find like this water place I imagine at the bottom of one of the towers uh, keep in mind that this is just my speculation and theory not necessarily facts but I mean I think there will be chests hidden like in such places you know uh, like and these ones will have like you know some good stuff that you could find like you see uh, there's a couple of chests there's a chest here yeah basically that hey, you know what before I wrap it up I want to go ahead and look at this place without the shaders because sometimes people do not like seeing these things with shaders because maybe sometimes the shaders just over exaggerate things but we're going to go without shaders in one two three this is how the thing looks without shaders before we take a, an overall look let's see it in the inside well it looks okay i don't know why it's so bright in here oh yeah uh, that's because of my brightness my brightness is way up wait so let's turn it to moody and let's look okay so i think it will be it look more like this yeah kind of dark in a couple places uh yeah yeah but you get the gist of it uh i hope you guys appreciate it on both shaders and without shaders i really did put a lot of time and uh, a lot of thought into how this place would look because i care about height hell remember it's the place i come from so i do not want to misrepresent my own home planet or a realm you know yeah but i hope you guys are actually enjoying this series so far i'm enjoying making every single video you see here though this is the second one yeah but uh they're just so much fun to make for me because well it's me speculating about two games i love i mean it's me combining two games i love so much and uh and nothing better than doing that right okay let's take a wrap around without the shaders and let's look at this beautiful dungeon tower as oh as i move towards where i'm going to place my um oh i'm going to take my screenshot from yeah but it's looking ever so amazing and uh, i'm really proud of how it turned out so that has been it for me today i hope you guys agree i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did uh, bringing you these builds is uh, just like one of a one of a kind a dream i've always had and uh, if the hightail team is watching if i gave you any ideas from uh, this video please add them into 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 the this structures please but um without further ado i'm going to have to say bye for now i hope you guys like the video do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed uh 90 of you are not subscribed that watch the video uh, and i'm trying to get to 100 if i'm already at 100 i'm trying to get to a thousand maybe before hightail releases and i hope you guys are um are able to help me do that uh, to, i'll be very grateful but um see you guys in the next video it's been me your favorite uh son of obis the lost prince himself and till next time Bye for now.